everyone, I've been asked a few times to make one of these sort of back to school pencil style, style bows So this is a pinwheel version as you can see And I've actually made this with my wood burning tool just because I wanted neater edges More sealed edges and what I did to do mine is I actually made some DIY templates to use along with my wood burning tool So I've got this shape which is obviously the eraser end and this bit which is the pencil tip and the curve to get this effect and I made these I simply cut cut down from my Pepsi Max addiction um, I cut down a piece of this to the size of um, the 1.5 inch river because that's the size I needed you could do one inch etc things like that so I just cut it down to the width that I needed and then I folded it in half and created the shapes evenly so that they're all nice and I'll, I'll show you a quick example use my non ribbon scissors just so you can see and bear with me because this is just a very rough version just so you can get the idea so all I did so say it was a one inch version that we're making and do be careful with the slivers of um you get it. so you would take it like this i'll just move this out of the way so it's a little bit of a clearer image so i've got the piece like this to make sure it's even like i said be careful fold it in half and then where you want your point so I did like that, and as you saw, those little bits flew off quite away. So there's those bits, and then open it back up. Get the pins off my desk. Stand by for. There we go. So then you've got that, and then obviously you can use. You can do it this way. And I did a curve, so a gentle curve here, and then I turned my scissors and did like a gentle point that side. You can make it sort of sharper, etc. You can play around with your shapes and see sort of what a pencil sort of design you want to do, but you get the idea. And you do exactly the same with this one, fold your other piece in half and shape. don't do it in half but obviously do the I'll just do it again in one second from the folded side not from the outside do the shape of your eraser and that you are interested in and then you've got those and obviously you can reuse them as well so just be careful they are a little on the sharp side it's not ideal but it, it works in a pinch etc so there we go so i've got my two little pieces the pencil bit and the eraser we'll just take those out of the way we do need a couple of pieces for this so i'm going to use a template today for our version so it is four inch template and it's 60 centimeters of your main color and then you need two pieces four by four so four centimeters by four centimeters brown pink so that'll be the eraser that's the brown tip of the pencil there and then for the brown we've got the black for the pencil tip and we've got the gray for the eraser so I'm going to take these bits, I'll show you how to create the eraser and all of those kind of bits. Just pop those out of the way. Now I do have this little piece of glass, so this is a heat resistant piece of glass. Um, so you can see, so you won't be able to see it on the desk, but it is there. Don't do it on your desk, you will burn um, your bits and pieces, we don't want that. So the first thing that I do is actually cut my piece of ribbon a little straighter there we go 
and you want to take this like i said i've done it five centimeters instead of the four just so we've got something to cut down so i'm going to take my metal ruler now that's placed nicely on top There. So you can see, so it's lined up with the top. I'm going to take my ruler from where it's there. Excuse the clattering, and I've got mine in my little stand, and it gets a bit. Going to move it a little bit over there just so I can cut nicely. So we're just going to cut that side and then we're going to do exactly the same that one over there. I'm going to cut that side like this because I can't see underneath my ruler. We are just going to go in a little bit on the sides and we'll do the same here just to seal those and then I'm also going to just so it's sealed do you see that edge that tiny edge of the nine millimeter I'm just going to trim along there just to seal the edges all that way and then this way from a template place that here take the tool again and then just it round like so and you can just do that if necessary so there's the eraser and then with this when you're attaching it does need to be both the same side so it's got to be so that when you're creating it to go around the template or when you're doing it to wrap the tip and the eraser both need to be on that same front area so i'm just going to take a clip we'll put that there and again we're just going to use the template again And just go down on the edge of the pencil. And obviously, because I'm filming, it's taking me longer than normal because it always likes to be temperamental when I'm showing. So, there's that one. So that's all sealed there and then what I also do because obviously this bit is not completely sealed fabric glue this is E6000 but you want one that dries completely clear and that you cannot see through which is why I don't always advise using hot glue because you can sometimes see the ridges and see the like colour underneath so I'm just going to put that there and what I also do if there's any sort of you can see I just use my finger and use the heat of my finger to space out the glue so that there's no visible marks and again same end this end 
That's the lid of my glue. I always put it back on, otherwise I get glue all over my desk and all over myself. So now we're using this bit and our brown end piece. We're going to do the edge first. So just do it about half a centimetre from that edge. And again, wood burning tool. If you wanted to, you could cut these, use this to cut with your pair of scissors as a guide and then heat seal while it's still placed on the template, that would work as well. Just make sure that's cut. So that's the main end there. So that's our edge. And then we're going to place this on this one. And again, I'm just going to use a clip just to hold it in place while we get everything lined up. And I'm going to take the black and again, I'm just going to trim so that this is all lined up and nice. So we've got nice layers. And again, this is nine millimeter and it's just five centimeters. So it's a little bit longer just so we've got room to do the cut. And I'm just going to do a pin. Yeah, and a pin here, just hold everything in place. It is a little bit time consuming on camera, but you can do it faster when you're not showing other people how to do it, if that makes sense. So again, line your template up with the where everything joins up. You can take your clip, you can either move the clip entirely or just move it out of the way. I'm just going to move the pins up so they're not in the way of the wood burning at all. And we are going to go. Be careful of your own fingers, by the way. I don't always use my tool as much as I could because I am a little bit on the accident prone side, which is what makes me cautious with it at the best of times. So take those pins out. Move our little bit of glass out of the way. Now we're done with that bit. And again with your glue because this end isn't sealed so you can see there we're just going to take our fabric glue again and just along there just going to use the clip to take that down and I've got a little fray so again in your glue clear bit of your you can just sort of trim those down so there's that end so as you can see it's starting to look more like a pencil now and then with your template I do it so that the pencil tip is almost over the edge to start I'm just going to clip that in place and then we wrap round, same way we do all pinwheels. And round again. making sure everything's all nice so okay clip that that side and I'm just going to place a clip here just to keep that bit all in place as well and then we're going to take our needle and thread 
and I've got my thread it's all double not double doubled and knotted ready to go and we want to start from above and you can use your stitch guide as you can see so one two three and the fourth one comes through the top just before we join to the next piece and then down for one two three and the little trail that way and again four is just before we go up into the next river over for one and I'll show you the back in a minute that's one two three and your fourth one back up through the top because we've started from above we've come back up from above just pull that along ready to be cinched so in which is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve because it's four stitches on each piece and on the back you'll see one one two one two one which is one two three four five six stitches in total so we will slip this off the template now just move the clips out of the way take this one off now the glue started to set a little bit i'll just show you the back again one two three four five six okay so put your fingers like this and each layer will have two pinches so two two and in a minute you'll see the two on this one and this just helps with your balance so then you wrap around your center and I also do this to give them their shape and I also pull up my layers so that they're all in place to give it the more circular look and then wrap around a couple of times and then we are going to stitch off in the back as we would normally and there we go as you can see starting to look like a pencil I've got this matching nine millimeter here and a clip So we've got a touch of glue just across the back on the clip straight across at the angle there we go right so when we're wrapping the pencils obviously going this straight the erasers go in this way so when you're doing it just remember to make sure you don't wrap like one side into the wrong wrong area if that makes sense just gonna catch that little stringy bit there so, heat seal the end as we normally would, the blue clear bit, drop of glue, open your clip up, cross the centre and hold it for a minute, and remember that one that way, this one this way, and then wrap round once. And then open your clip, bring that round, and just for a little added bit of interest, if you twist it over and then bring it round, it gives you a nice little twist on your normal centre. And then heat seal the end. You can do these on uh, hair ties or bubbles instead as like a little pigtail set. 
and there you go you've got a super cute back to school pencil uh, pencil pinwheel thanks for watching bye